nowadays sobrang hirap gumawa ng new video about a new experience in your life kasi everybody's on your lockdown. Pero buti na lang, I've been documenting my life for the past 4 years now. So let's just make a throwback video about the things that I never regretted spending my money on. First, let's talk about travel. I started with this because this is something most people could relate to. Most people tend to travel. And for me, the best part of travel is it allows you to connect to the people around you on a deeper level. You see a different perspective into your friends, your family, the locals, and the acquaintances you met along the way. Plus, it gives you memories and experiences to bond on. I also wanted to talk about food. Food somehow is almost synonymous not to travel because automatic now when you visit a new place, you have to try your local food on that place. Plus, I'm no foodie but I know how to appreciate food. Quick fun fact about me, you could say na my love for making videos was born out of a travel experience with my college friends. And pwede mo sabihin na yung birthplace itong paggawa ko ng videos was in El Nido, Palawan. So that was way back in 2016. So yung college friend ko si Monique, she was documenting our trip and I asked for the video footage ng trip namin and gumawa ko ng video montage ng trip namin and that's where this video filmmaking thing started for me. One thing that I wanted to experience in the future is to do a solo travel. Kasi feeling ko that's the only way I could immerse myself dun sa culture na pupuntaan kong place. Because every time I travel with somebody else or with others, I mean, parang feeling mo, uh, feel ko I'm restricted because I have to consider them. Lastly, bring one good habit back from the place you went. For example, to Singapore to be more disciplined, to Boracay to experience life more, to Palawan to live peacefully, to Bacolod to smile more, to Bataan to greet people warmly. I know, I just feel na ano, parang yun yung true essence of travel. To bring something back uh, into your lifestyle aside dun sa mga photos, sa memories, and souvenirs na iuuwi mo. With everything is sinabi ko, all I could parang end up is that sulit lahat na ginasas ko for my travel. Next on this list are books. Funny because nung bata ako, I hate reading books. The only books that I read are school textbooks and this trivia books. Based on what I said, I was a little bit weird. I was a dork ako and I'm in the geeky spectrum, which is totally fine. I'm not a total bookworm. I just read when I want to read or I want to read. And I'm really fast to read the books when I'm looking for an answer in life. I discovered self-help books in college ako, and it's like finding my jam. Alam mo yung feeling na may narinig ka music and it suits your ear? Okay, enough introduction about books. The main reason why I read books is because I'm looking for an answer or a meaning sa katanungan ko. And funny enough, because it always reminds you na yung sagot sa hinahalap mo is just always in front of you. And parang uh, nire-remind niya lang sa'yo na to bring back your common sense. I guess we're always looking for hacks, shortcuts, and secrets in life. And books are a great reminder that those are bullshit. Some of the greatest takeaways from the books that I read are learn and how to listen because that's an important ingredient to a conversation. Always save 10% of what you make and double down on your strengths and do less of your weaknesses. Learn how to focus your attention on one single thing and make it work rather than do multiple mediocre works. And kung titinan mo, diba, these are things na alam na natin but madalas we tend to forget it and books are a good reminder of these things na kailangan natin. Third on my list are creative gear. So these are my cameras and the stuff I use to create content over the internet. No one naman di naman ako serious when I'm creating content. I'm just always doing it for fun. And I think yun yung pinaka important na ingredient when you're doing something. So dapat masaya ang ginagawa yung mga yon. Then I saw Casey Neistat on YouTube and she may inspiration ko why I start documenting my life over the internet. And sa kanya ko din nakita yung idea na you could make meaningful content pala that could resonate to other people. Plus sa kanya ko din nakita yung pagbuild ng YouTube community where you could find people na that has the same ideas and passions as yours. I guess what we have here locally are fandoms like you artists and fans, YouTubers and fans, and parang para sa akin ang shallow yung relationship na yun. Uh, hindi ako makakonect sa ganung idea. How I look at sa mga creators that I admire, hindi ko sila gusto dahil kung sino sila. I admire them because of their values, their principles, their ideas. Yun yung advocacy nila and it feels larger than them. Hindi ko lang paano talaga to explain. Another reason why for me, camera is really worth for its price kasi it allows you to preserve memories and it's the closest thing we have to time travel. And <laughs> labo ko, no? Yung concept ko for that is because it allows me to watch yung older clips ko, yung mga past travels ko, mga past memories ko and it feels like andun ulit ako sa moment na yun. Last on my list are ticket events. Not this kind of events. 
but these kinds of events. I started going to leadership seminars, entrepreneurship events, and other social events para lang to get out of my comfort zone. Kasi before, hindi din talaga ako confident sa sarili ko. Especially when it comes to talking to other people and approaching them. Kasi medyo awkward din talaga ako nun. Alam mo yung nanginginig-inig yung bosses mo when you're approaching or talking to someone. Sobrang rinig sa akin yun noon. But as I keep going to events, I become better at it. I wouldn't say na I'm good at it na, pero I'm way better than myself 3 years ago. Plus, those events opened my eyes to the people that I could resonate with. Kasi lumaki ako uncooperative sa school, so yung mga classmates ko, hirap na hirap sila akong pilitin mag-perform ako nun. And ang tingin nila sa akin nun, sobrang KJ ako. I don't sing, I don't dance, I don't have yung typical skill ng Pinoy performer. And when I started going to events, alam mo yun, I finally find my people and we speak the same language. Lastly, going to events inspires me to always improve myself and to always do my best kasi you'll meet people there that are fucking driven. You'll meet people there that works on social development goals. You'll meet people there that starts sustainable businesses. And you'll see people there that works on research na pwede talagang i-apply in real life. That's it for this video. If nandito ko na din naman sa portion na to ng video na to, might as well hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Uh, before I end lang, let me just share something that makes my heart full. So recently, I've been receiving comments from uh, young kids uh, para mag si senior high school pa lang sila or magka-college pa lang sila and they're asking me about tech startups and um, yung stock market natin. And alam, alam ko, parang just makes me feel hopeful na yung mga parang future generation natin is thinking something good or thinking about something great. So yun, parang it just parang gives me hope na there's something good coming in the future. I know, just, just wanna share that to you. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye!